because because there is a tiny problem with math. There is a, a, a tiny problem. L let me give you an example. So let's get this equation, f equals one ma. Most of you are going to recognize it. But you see, f is just a symbol. And I haven't told you what the, thing, what the symbols stand for. So if I only told you f equal ma, the only thing that you actually know is that the symbol on the left is equal the product of the symbol on the right. And that's it. And this is the problem with math. It's meaningless. <laughs> and it's not really a joke. This is not something that I say. This is that something that people much more important than me say. For example, David Hilbert, one of the greatest mathematicians, the brain the size of a skyscraper, he said, mathematics is a game played according to certain simple rules with meaningless mark of paper. You see, I'm not saying that. David Hilbert is saying that. <laughs> And Bertrand Russell, one of the greatest philosophers, like right, the brain of the sign of skyscraper, he says, it is essential not to discuss whether the first proposition is really true and not to mention what the anything is of which is supposed to be true. Again, this is not me, right? This is, this is uh, uh, Bertrand Russell. And one of the greatest thinkers of our time said, mathematics knows the rules of everything and the meaning of nothing. This time is me. But the other time it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so the problem is that mathematics is meaningless, but it's a problem with mathematics. It's not really a problem for mathematics. For mathematics is great. Because when a mathematician solves an equation, it doesn't really matter whether the equation is about uh, physics, economics, biology, because the symbols don't care. Because mathematics is meaningless. That's why it's powerful. But if it's not a problem for mathematics, it's a problem for physics. Because if all we have is the math, then we quite literally, we don't know what we're talking about. 